up, kids? And happy Labor Day weekend. Yes, it is Labor Day weekend, it isn't is it? It is Labor Day weekend. I'm going to labor on Labor Day. Oh, you are? Probably. I always labor on Labor Day. It's work hard. Oh, I guess. Got to Got to pay for all kinds of stuff. You hey, know. we work hard for God, right? Yes. That's true, ain't it? So we're laboring today. Well, today we're actually going to be talking about whose blessing it really was. Who? Who? Today's story is found in Genesis 27. Genesis 27. The whole chapter 27? 27? Yeah, it's a long story. Oh. It's a long story. So whose blessing is it? Yes, whose blessing it really I don't know. Is. I just asked you whose blessing it was. Oh, I thought you were trying to repeat the title of no, the story. It's not repeat time. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm asking you a question. So, we're talking about Jacob and Esau. wonder if they know whose blessing it is. Well, I just said Jacob or Esau's. But That's I'm wondering we're if they about. know which one it is. I don't know. Are Maybe you going to tell them? I'm going to tell them. If I be quiet, you probably yeah, would tell I'll, them. I'll tell them. Yeah, okay. Okay, so, you remember Isaac... In our last story, he was kind of a young kid, remember? Yep, he was very young. He was but he's grown sacrificed. up. He's grown up since our last story. He's gotten married to Rebecca and had two sons named Jacob and Esau. Wow, he grew up really fast. He really did, didn't In he? In a week's time, boom, he had kids and he was old man. Yes. And, wow. But at this time, Isaac was very old and he could hardly see anything. So not only did he get married, now he done got old. Yep, and he could hardly even see. Oh, he wasn't blind. Oh, he wasn't could, blind. He, he could just hardly see. see. So he called his son Esau over and said, I am now an old man and mm -hmm. don't know the day of my death. Now then, get your equipment, your quiver and bow, and go out to the open country to hurt some wild game for me. Prepare me the kind of tasty food I like and bring it to me to eat so that I may give you my blessing before I die. See, and that's one of the things with the brothers. They they were really different. Esau was like in the land. He, he liked to hunt and fish yeah, and all that yeah, kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah. So then Rebecca, Isaac's wife, overheard Isaac talking to Esau mm -hmm. and told Jacob exactly what Isaac said to Esau. Well, why would he do that? So then Rebecca told Jacob, now my son, listen, after she's repeated all that, Isaac has said to Esau, okay. she said, now my son, listen carefully and do what I tell you. Go out to the flock and bring me two choice young goats so I can prepare some tasty food for your father just the way he likes it. Then take it to your father to eat so that he may give you his blessing before he dies. Yeah, but the oldest is the one that's supposed to get the blessing. Yeah, but Rebecca kind of went against that and told Jacob to that, do that's everything. That's wrong. Ma Mama's being wrong. Well, she Mama said... Mama, don't be wrong she, out there. Well, she was going to prepare everything for him and give him the credit. I know, but still, the blessing should go to I Esau. Know. I know. So then guess what happened next? Well, hopefully Esau made it back before then. Rebecca also gave Jacob some of Esau's clothes and goat skin so he could cover up the smooth parts of the skin because... Esau had he, a, he had dirty clothes. He was hairy smelt, too, he and was he like was ultra land. hairy. He was like a mountain man type thing. Yeah, he was he real was hairy like and everything. Hairy everywhere. So but she his gave him some goats. Yeah, yeah. So, which two different? Two, two different, different people. people. Yep. So Isaac questioned him, but as soon as Isaac touched Jacob's hands, because Jacob brought him the stuff, as soon as Isaac touched Jacob's hands. He felt the goat skin and thought it was Esau. Right, because Esau being outside, it'd be a little leathery and, skin. Too, and so. Isaac didn't, Isaac couldn't see, remember? Right. So, so he couldn't tell which one it was. He just felt and he thought that he, he thought was, it was Esau. Esau. Right. And he blessed Jacob instead of Esau. Oh, that's not even cool. I know. And after the blessing. So mom helped Jacob trick dad. Yep. That's wrong. So after the blessing. And Jacob left. Esau came in with wine and food that he prepared himself. I, I wonder if it tasted as good as the other. And his father asked who he was, and he replied, the same as Jacob. I'm your firstborn, Esau. Because Jacob told his dad that he was his firstborn. That's just wrong. And then now Esau's coming in, and he's like, I am your firstborn. But he can't see who really he was can't the see firstborn. who he really was. So Isaac told Esau he already gave Jacob the blessing because he, because Isaac finally realized that, oh my gosh, I gave the blessing to the wrong person. 
He had an aha moment. He had an aha moment. Oh no. And Isaac told Esau that he already gave Jacob the blessing and Esau began to cry and asked his father to bless him too. That's sad. Yeah. That a brother would do something like kids don't do that to your siblings. I know. And That's wrong. Jacob, and mama don't do it either. So Jacob ended up stealing his birthright and his blessing. That is so wrong. I know. And then Esau held a grudge against Jacob for years and actually I am sure. actually wanted to kill Jacob at one point. Oh. Yeah, and some stories further along in the Bible, he actually wanted to That's crazy. kill Jacob. And Jacob ended up fleeing at the end anyway. Well, I'd be right. Because he too. heard because he because he heard that Esau wanted to go get him and kill him for taking his So mom helped trick blessing. everybody. Yep, and ended up turning the brothers against each other. Wow. I know, right? Mom is mean. I know. Mom is but mean. It's okay. Don't poor old man. Couldn't even see. I know we can learn trick. a lot from this, right? Yeah. Like don't don't steal stuff from your siblings. Stealing is actually breaking one of the Ten Commandments. Be be nice to your siblings. Be nice to your siblings. Your siblings are important people in your life. Yeah, well, another one, don't covet what your neighbor has. So that means don't yep. want what your sibling has. God created each one of us to be different yes. in his own image. So God created us to be who we are. Exactly. So whoever you are, God created you to be who you are. Don't let nobody change who you are. Yeah. Because God made you special that way. Exactly. Wow. Do you want to pray us out? I, I think we can pray us out. Father, to, tonight and today and the next week, and as people are watching this video, that what it really boils down to is you created us to be who we are. We don't have to try to be somebody else to be special because you already made us special. And thank you for making everybody special and unique in their own way. And Father, help everybody to be that person that you created them to be and not to try to be somebody else. And we thank you for that. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, it's that time. I'm sure my hair was probably messed up from that, but it didn't matter. Everybody should have had their head bowed and eyes closed okay. anyway, you know. Hey, well, you know it's time. Snack time? Memory verse time. Memory verse time. Memory verse time. Are you ready? Ready. Okay, so this. Set. Oh, you done? Go. Okay, so this. You missed week... the cue. When that green light head says go, you go. Green means go. Okay, I got it. Ready? I got it. Okay, so this week's memory verse. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Set. Oh my gosh. Go. This week's memory Very verse is one. found in Ephesians 4.25. And it says, Therefore, each of you must put off falsehood and speak trustfully to his neighbor, for we are all members of one body. That's a lot. It is, but it's an important verse. Mm. I know. I'm going to have a hard time with this one. It's okay. Just try your best. Are you okay. ready to repeat? Repeat. Lord, help me. You're good? Okay. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Don't do a bunch of words at once. Okay, I won't. Mess up. Therefore, each of you. Therefore, each of you. Yep. Must put off. Must put off. Falsehood. Falsehood. And speak trustfully. And speak trust. What? Trustfully. Trustfully. Okay. Yep. To his neighbor. To his neighbor. For we are all. For we are all. Members, members of one body, of one body, Ephesians, Ephesians, four, four, 25, 25, NIV, NIV. You did pretty good. Are you ready to say it all together now? Uh, I'm glad they are. Okay, okay, let's give it a try. Here one, yep. two, mm -hmm. three. Therefore, Therefore each, each of you must put, put off. off falsehood and, and speak, speak trustfully to his neighbor. For we are all members of one body. Ephesians 4, 25, NIV. Oh my goodness. I really struggled with that It's one. okay. You made a big memory verse and I, I couldn't even remember okay. the first line. It's okay. Y'all will do better, I'm sure. I'm sure they did. I'm sure Pastor they did. John struggling well, today. Well, it's time to wrap things up. Snack time. With some Dinner announcements. Food.
Announcements. Announcements. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, number one. Number one. If you haven't already, go follow our Facebook group, Legacy CC Thrive Kids. Legacy CC Thrive Kids Facebook go. group. Good job. Okay, next one. Two. Go follow us on our Instagram. Thrive Instagram. Kids. That's with a Z. Whatever right. way you do the Z side way, whatever. Yes. Yes. On Wednesdays, we have craft time with Rosalind at yes. 3 o'clock. At 3. What are we making? Well, I'm going to give them a sneak peek of the back side. They have to tune in to see oh. what's on the front side. Okay. Because what is this? Is it a fan, a lollipop, or something else? You have to tune in on Wednesday at 3 to see what it is. Yes. Because there's a lot more stuff to the front of it. Yes. Yep. On Sundays, yes. we have service at 10 a.m. 10 a.m., yes. Please come join us. Yes. We would love to meet you guys. We have great snack time. We do have great snack time. Yes, we do. You know, we have some food left over from the breakfast bash that we've been eating. Yes, the donuts, the donuts and all the that. The Pop-Tarts, all that good stuff. Snack time is so good. Next yes. week, we will be taking a pause again on our Old Testament unit and doing a special for grandparents' day. Oh, grandparents, that's going to be a fun one. It really is. We got some real treats for them to we tune do. in on, on the videos. We, do. we got some fun stuff. And lastly, if you like what you're seeing, yes. make sure you give it a thumbs up, yep. share, subscribe, and hit the little bell ding, ding. to receive notifications when we post a new video. Yes, and with that being said, we will see you next week, Thrive Kids. Bye! Bye.